afternoon and welcome at the Schaeffer Center for Performing Arts with the Appalachian Symphony Orchestra for our first concert this season. My name is Melise Brunet and I am the new director of orchestral activities at the Hayes School of Music. When I was a student at the Paris Conservatoire, uh, at the Cleveland Institute of Music and at the University of Michigan, I always found very frustrating that students were not given more professional opportunities. This is why this semester I have introduced extracurricular activities for students who would like to raise their value on the job market. Those activities are not mandatory and I would like for us to recognize the students who have taken part in these activities. So we had students writing the program notes and generously helped by Dr. Reeves Schulstadt. These students are Corbin Leonard, double bass. <laughs> Grayson Milolin Viola. <laughs> Tess Angel Violin. Another team of students worked on the designing on the flyers and posters and for students are Alexandria Smith Obo, Chandler Fadero Concertmaster. You might have seen some video promoting the ASO here on the screen. They will be again on screens during intermission and at the end of the concert. Those videos have been created and recorded by the students. We have James Emery, double bass, <laughs> Kathleen Leide, and Nick Elion, cello. And for the interviewing and editing of the videos, Maya Brown Houston, violin. Our director of advertisement directors are William Green will be playing the piano uh, during the second half and Chandler Federal Concertmaster. <laughs> Finally, after the intermission, you will have four students introducing the pieces of the second half from stage. I'd like also to thank very much the teachers of the High School of Music who have been helping us to put this program together. Thank you for organizing sectional. Thank you for working individually and in group with the students. Thank you for coming to rehearsals and giving us your feedback. So our first piece on the program today is Gustav Mahler's Totten Fire, Funeral Rites. Gustav Mahler was a musical genius and we are very lucky, us and himself, that his parents allowed him to pursue a musical career. His parents were no musicians, end of 19th century, and still they allowed him to go for a musical career. So he went to Vienna and studied composition. However, his first job was as a, an opera conductor. It was way easier to find jobs as a conductor. And when he wrote Totten Fire that we will play for us, he was 28, and he was more known as an opera conductor than as a composer. How come he never wrote an opera? He wrote symphonies with choruses, solo voices, but never an opera of his own. So do we see the influence of opera and voices in his instrumental music? Let's listen to the second theme of Totten Fire that you will hear is so lyrical that it could be sung by voices. Another very, very strong influence on Gustav Mahler's music comes from his childhood. He grew up in a little village. In this village was a caserne, and all the soldiers would march in front of his house 
playing military marches. This is why in all Mahler's music you hear military marches. And Totten Fire can be considered as a gigantic march. Let's listen to the first march of Totten Fire. And finally, there is another theme we will hear very discreetly in the development. It is death music. And the theme that Mahler uses, he only uses the four first notes of that theme that musicians know all. We're going to play the four notes that Mahler uses, and I will invite you to sing what's next of the theme. Di are you warmed up? <laughs> yeah? OK, let's go. First, four notes, and then you sing what's left. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful job. Well, I think you deserve a concert. Great job. That theme is a theme of the DS era. Day of Wrath, that's usual, usually used in requiems, and this theme is the link of all our first semester. We will play on November 18, Berlioz's Symphonie Fantastique, which uses the Dies Irae at the entire orchestra. So why did I pick that theme? There are many reasons, pedagogical, that I'm not going to explain now. There is a more personal reason that I would like to share with you. Um, and it's in order to give a homage. In January 2015, one block away from my place in Paris, happened the terrorist attack of Charlie Hebdo. In November 2015, at the very end of my boulevard in the concert hall, Le Bataclan, terrorist attacked that concert hall. One of my friends was there. She was lucky enough to escape on time. On July 14th, our Bastille Day of this year, one of my friends, another one, was enjoying the fireworks in Nice. And she went away five minutes before the truck drove onto the crowd. This semester is an homage to all the victims of all terrorist attacks in the world. May the music bring peace in everyone's heart. Thank you.